And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, August the 6th, 2021. It's the birthday of the man who discovered the antibacterial properties of penicillin, Sir Alexander Fleming, bacteriologist, born in Lockfield, Scotland, 1881. Came into his lab one morning in 1928 to find that he'd left the lid off a petri dish containing a staphylococcus culture, which had become contaminated by a blue-green mold, and he noted that right around the moldy spots, the bacteria were no longer growing, so he isolated the mold and determined it was Penicillium notatum. And it was on this day, 1623, Anne Hathaway, the wife of Shakespeare, died at the age of 67. Shakespeare spent much of his life apart from Hathaway, living in London, touring the country. She stayed behind in Stratford-on-Avon. His will left most of his estate to their eldest daughter, and to Hathaway he bequested only his second-best bed. But when she died, she was buried in a plot next to her husband. Here's a poem for today by Paul Lawrence Dunbar in summertime. When summertime has come and all the world in the magic thrall of perfumed airs that lull each sense to fits of drowsy indolence, when skies are deepest blue above and flowers a flush then most I love to start while early dews are damp and wend my way in woodland ramp where forests rustle tree on tree and sing their silent songs to me. Where pathways meet and pathways part to walk with nature heart by heart I'll wearied out at last I lie where some sweet stream steals singing by a mossy bank, where violets vie and color with the summer sky, or take my rod and line and hook and wander to some darkling brook where all day long the willows dream and idly droop to kiss the stream and there to lull from morn till night, unheeding, nibble, run, or bite, just for the joy of being there and drinking in the summer air, the summer sounds and summer sights that set a restless mind to rights. When grief and pain and raging doubt of men and creeds have worn it out, the bird's song and the water's drone, the humming bee's low monotone, the murmur of the passing breeze, and all the sounds akin to these that make a man in summertime feel only fit for rest and rhyme. Joy springs all radiant in my breast, Though pauper poor, then king more blessed, the tide beats on my soul so strong that happiness breaks forth in song and rings aloud the welkin blue with all the songs I ever knew. O oh, time of raptured time of song, how swiftly glide thy days along, adown the current of the years, above the rocks of grief and tears, tis wealth enough of joy for me. A poem by Paul Lawrence Dunbar in Summertime, here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 